think there's anything else up here, so let's go ahead and turn the tractor beam off and get out of here. We have to get back to the base. All the prisoners are still in there. You may think that the pig's dead, but he's not. This is up there. Is there someone else still alive? No, there's no one left. No one important, anyway. I'll wait for this one. Come on, everyone, get into the really cramped space. Time to get over to our ship. Landing strip in sight, straight ahead. Sounds good to me. Let's go for it. Look out! They're sending in the cavalry! Sweet Jesus, they're everywhere! I love this battle here. Fantastic use of this ship. I love that you can lock on here. It really feels like a awesome dogfight. And it's not a difficult dogfight either, so it's a lot of fun to do. With controls from other games, this dogfight would have been a pain in the ass. We have the support of the people of Hill Estate. We'll cover you. Try to get inside the base. We must save those that are still inside. I like the fact that we're on a moon too, so it's almost a Death Star reference. Alright, I'll go ahead and save here. I feel much better with it uh, not being on a ship that's about to explode. I'll go ahead and save down here. We are out in the moon. There! A triple elevator! Everyone in position! I love how the Thanks music has changed. My companions. Fantastically epic music in this game. Johnny, you have finally come back to me. You have served your master well, Johnny. You alone have brought the Hillians to me. They have followed you blindly. Miss Jade? Dorthal Parton! Ah! It's a trap! The controls aren't responding anymore! You are not who you think you are. The pig has hidden your origins from me. Jade, no! Don't listen to him! You are the source of my powers, the instrument of my strength. They took you away in the hope of destroying me, but I have survived, feeding me with only the most miserable of sacrifices. They made you human, but you are not like them. You are mine, Johnny, and I am going to kill the human part of you. Jade! Johnny Dom Yendra! Alright, welcome to such an epic boss battle. Now, in this part of the game, everything gets very blurry in the uh, HUD and in the, um, in everything in general. But yeah, there's a lot of blur going on here, and I think it might be due to the fact that this section is uh, not very well optimized with the resolution. Don't 
worry, buddy. I'll be fine. I should have probably been using your shields, but whatever. Have some to the face. The whole point of this is to track where he is. Otherwise, you will get hit immediately. Now the battle gets harder. Your controls get reversed at this point. This is not going to be fun. Come on, give me my superpower. So make this a little bit faster. Alright, here we go into the reversal. You're losing control of your spirit, Sean. This always kicks my ass because you have to uh, push in the direction of him, but because we're losing our spirit, we're also going to have to push in the opposite direction now. It is very much a pain. I did that on the first track. <laughs>
And what a great end to a great game. I love that they have this happy ending after there's all these sad falls in the game. It's, it's kind of like a roller coaster ride of emotion towards the end of this game. I really love this game. It's a fantastic game. Definitely, for me, I would give this 9 out of 10 easily. Possibly more. Um, I mean, there, there is some glitching with um, the audio here and there, and there's also a little bit of glitching with the scenery, but there's nothing that actually stops the gameplay from what I can tell. I've never run into anything that has been so totally game-breaking that you can't just reload a save real quick and fix it. it uh, it's just fantastically well done. I mean, other than the fact that I forgot about the camera early on um, when we were fighting a boss, there was there was nothing that stopped us whatsoever. This is a very straightforward game. Um, the puzzles are a lot of fun. The stealth sections are a lot of fun. Maybe I'm just really into stealth sections because that's me, but I feel like the stealth sections are very well done in here. And the final boss fight brings so much closure to this game because it, it really feels like a, a climax to this game rather than it just uh, peters off like some games do. So it's, it's really nice how they, uh, they managed to do that in such a way that you really feel like you got to the end of the game, the high point. There was, there was not any low point towards the end of this game. It was perfect. I love the ending to this. I don't see anything that they could have done better with this ending. It's fantastic. I really love it. Um, they have been talking about a Beyond Good and Evil 2, and I really, really hope that it actually becomes a thing. It's been talked about for many, many years, so uh, much like uh, many other games, it's vaporware, and it could end up being just as bad as other vaporware games that have finally come out. Uh, in the recent past, or it could end up being really good. I'm hoping for the latter. But um, for now, we get to enjoy this wonderful gem of a game, which I highly recommend. It's on uh, Steam as far as I know, um, possibly on good old games, GOG.com. And um, probably could find a copy on Amazon if you want to play the discs. Uh, not only that, but I did mention that there was an HD version that was released recently. Um, that was on the Xbox store, I believe, so definitely go check that one out. Um, definitely play this game. It's well worth it. Well worth it. The cameras are a little wonky here and there, but this game more than makes up for it with story and gameplay. It is so much fun to play this game. It's, it's kind of like the marriage of Psychonauts and Pokemon Snap and, uh, all the seriousness of a Tomb Raider game or something. It's pretty awesome. I love how they put everything into this game. And um, somehow, even though it's got a, a little bit of a slightly silly animation style, all of that emotion manages to come through really strong in this game. It's fantastic how they managed to do that. I just love this game. It's brilliant. Anyway, I will uh, see y'all later in another Let's Play. Bye for now, everyone.
Well, they sure set up for a number two. <laughs>